When you hear the word metal, what comes to mind? Likely something solid, heavy, and strong, like steel, iron, or copper. But not all metals behave the way we expect them to. In fact, there's one that seems to break all the rules. It's called gallium. It looks like any other metal, shiny, silvery, and solid. But hold it in your hand, and it begins to melt. No heat source, no flame, just the warmth of your body. In this video, we'll explore what gallium is, why it melts at such a low temperature, how it's used in technology, and why scientists and engineers continue to be fascinated by its unusual properties. Right here on History of Simple Things. Gallium is a chemical element with the symbol Ga and atomic number 31. It was discovered in 1875 by French chemist Paul-Émile Lecoq de Bois-Baudron, who identified it using spectroscopy, a method of studying light emitted or absorbed by substances. He named it after Gallia, the Latin word for France. Gallium is classified as a post-transition metal, at room temperature, it's solid, but not for long. It has a melting point of only 29.76 degrees Celsius, about 85.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it becomes liquid when held in the hand. For comparison, room temperature is generally considered to be around 20-25 degrees Celsius, so even a slightly warm environment can cause gallium to turn from a solid into a liquid. This alone makes gallium stand out. But there's more to it than just its ability to melt easily. Gallium has a soft, silvery appearance and shares some visual similarities with mercury, though it's much safer to handle. Pure gallium is non-toxic, making it suitable for demonstrations and safe handling in educational settings. Though, as with any chemical substance, it should still be treated with care and used responsibly. One of the most unusual things about gallium is that, like water, it expands when it solidifies. This is the opposite of what most metals do, which typically shrink as they transition from liquid to solid. Because of this property, storing liquid gallium in glass or metal containers is not advisable. It can expand and cause the container to break. When in liquid form, gallium also tends to wet surfaces like glass and skin. It doesn't bead up like water or mercury, it spreads and sticks. This trait can make it difficult to work with in some situations, especially when precise containment is needed. Gallium is not found in its pure form in nature. Instead, it exists in trace amounts within minerals like bauxite and sphalerite, which are primarily mined for aluminum and zinc. Gallium is extracted as a byproduct of processing these ores. Despite its relative scarcity in raw form, gallium is not classified as a rare earth element. Global production is modest but stable, with most gallium being recovered during the aluminum refining process. Thanks to these methods, Gallium is available in sufficient quantities for both research and industrial applications. While gallium's melting trick is visually interesting, its true importance lies in technology. One of the most valuable compounds derived from gallium is gallium arsenide, GAAS. This material is a semiconductor used in high-frequency and optoelectronic applications. Gallium arsenide performs better than traditional silicon in certain tasks, particularly when it comes to high-speed transistors, radio frequency devices, and solar cells. Another significant compound is gallium nitride. It has transformed the development of light-emitting diodes, LEDs, especially blue and violet LEDs. These developments pave the way for white LED lighting and energy-efficient screens in mobile devices, televisions, and other electronics. Gallium nitride is also used in power electronics, such as chargers and inverters, because of its efficiency and ability to handle high voltages. 
it's helping engineers develop smaller, faster, and more efficient electronic components. Although gallium is relatively safe to handle, it can cause problems when it comes into contact with certain materials, aluminum in particular. When gallium interacts with aluminum, it penetrates the metal and interferes with its protective oxide layer. This causes the aluminum to become brittle and structurally unstable. The damage is not always visible at first, but over time, the aluminum can weaken dramatically. For this reason, gallium is strictly prohibited on airplanes and in facilities where aluminum structures are critical. Gallium is increasingly being explored in emerging technologies. Researchers are developing flexible electronics and even liquid metal robotics using gallium-based alloys. These soft, shape-shifting machines could one day be used in medical devices, repair systems, or machines capable of navigating environments that are inaccessible to traditional robotics. Because gallium can change from solid to liquid, and back again without much external intervention. It's also useful in thermal interface materials, components that help transfer heat away from sensitive parts in computers and electronic circuits. In addition, gallium-based materials are being tested for next-generation solar cells and quantum computing applications, where their electronic properties could enable entirely new levels of performance. Gallium is often sold for science kits, classroom demonstrations, and educational experiments. It's a favorite in chemistry sets because of its dramatic melting behavior and the fact that in small amounts, it's generally safe to handle. Gallium is a reminder that even familiar categories like metal can contain surprises. It challenges our assumptions solid but easily melted, safe to touch, yet capable of breaking down industrial metals, rare in nature but essential to our most advanced technologies. In short, gallium is a material that doesn't just bend, it reshapes our understanding of what metals can be. Its role in semiconductors, lighting, and electronics continues to grow, and its potential in future innovations from medical devices to flexible circuits, shows no signs of slowing down. Gallium may not be a household name, but it plays a quiet, essential role in the technologies that shape our everyday lives. Whether it's helping satellites stay connected, making our devices more efficient, or offering a glimpse into the future of flexible electronics, Gallium represents the kind of scientific discovery that feels both strange and deeply meaningful. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.